All right, so if you guys are new to the channel and if you don't know that I am currently transforming my front yard into a nice, beautiful garden so that I can grow my food. And this last year, I expanded a little bit to test it out and it worked out perfectly. And uh, so this year, I decided to expand it the whole front half of the yard uh, into a garden. And there's a video about the design up in the right corner if you guys haven't seen that. Um, also, this summer as well, I've been collecting a lot of um, recyclable wood, right? So there's a video about where I collect free wood and uh, lumber. Uh, so I'm using that to build a fence around my garden. So let's go and check it out and see how I do this. All right, so at first, um, I'm starting out by taking out these two raised beds that are in front of my house. And um, so basically, I'm moving the fence out more to make it more feng shui, as I um, discussed it in the design on the previous video. So it was a lot of work trying to dig all this dirt out and um, flip this raised bed up. So everything I'm doing around the house, um, the kids have to be involved. They always like to be involved <laughs> with everything. So here they are outside digging and play with the mutts. My strategy here to build a fence is uh, basically putting all the posts in for the corner edge of the parameter so that way I can run a straight line from one corner to another to have a better gauge. And here is the pile of wood for posts that I got before and as you can see I, I put on some oil at the end. Um, basically I'm using old motor oil so that way it doesn't rot and it's going to preserve the wood a little bit longer because these are recycled posts. So the way I put in the post is that I dug a hole around almost two feet deep and around eight inches or 10 inches wide. And then I just put the post down. Um, so that way it's have enough depth to hold the post and it doesn't wobble. And the way this cement concrete work is that you don't have to pre-mix this. Um, you can just pour it into the hole and then put water in afterward and then after that it will just dry it up and become really concrete and really sturdy. Once I put the post in the hole um, I have to plumb this so make sure can, this thing is straight and a level so that way the post itself is not bent or crooked when you like cement it all in. Now I start to work on the corner post where the sidewalk area is and um, this is the front yard so just a little bit of background is that uh, according to the regulation the county only let you do fence um, that is 4 feet high only when you put it in the front of your house. All right, so at this part, I'm digging a hole to put in the, basically the garden entrance right here. And my idea is that I'm gonna use a post 
uh, by six by six, and this thing is heavy because um, I was able to salvage uh, four posts. Uh, but these two posts were the best looking, uh, in a good shape, and this thing was heavy to carry out, and it is a pain to put it up as well. So the first post is in for the garden gate and the second post is about to come in and this was a little bit tricky for myself because I'm trying to align the two posts uh, so that way it's straight and also it will be have the same height as well. So my trick here is I'm screw another basically another 2x4 on top of the first post so that way I can know how tall of the height it is and I'm gonna align it to match that same height and then on the bottom here as you can see I have a um, 2x4 post as well on the bottom that screw tightly so that way I have a better gauge of the spacing between each post it can also help me align um, one post to another so it doesn't uh, become crooked Now that we got the corner post in, um, I'm moving on to putting the rest of the post in front of the house in. Um, here as you can see I'm using a 6 feet spacer to measure the spacing between one post to another next to the entrance. Um, and I'm digging and putting in one post at a time so this way I make sure that there's no gap between the posts. Uh, so when later on I'm putting on the rails so it doesn't have too much gap between it when I pre-cutting it.
All right, guys, so that is the tour of the current situation right now of the garden. And I still have some more posts to put in. And then afterward, we're going to get uh, some wood uh, from Home Depot uh, because I don't have enough time to go and try to collect more free woods. And then we're going to split it up and put up the fence. And if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe. So that way you get more updated video of what's going on in the garden. And I bet you this project, the final product is going to look awesome. So I'll see you guys later.